So if you remember the very first things about the uh, Ladybug and any analysis in Ladybug, what we do is Ladybug EPV map and Ladybug download better, right? So these two are quite important at the beginning. And for the EPV map, we can put a get boolean, right? And if I right click to this, we are going to have like, let's say at least we are going to have only one thing here, right? And true value is how you want to have the true value for the outcome of this one. For instance, what would you like to see when it's when you are in between true or false? You can say yes or no. So what we can say is get a prompt. We can say open EPV map question mark and for true value we can say yes and for false value we can say no and we can connect this here and let's save this file again playlist 24 and player player with ladybug and then I say OK to this. And let's save this and close this. And let's run this. Oops, sorry, let's not run this in Grasshopper, of course, within Grasshopper Player. So let's run this. So whenever I open this, you see it says open EPV map. Yes, I say yes. All right. And then I'll find the spot here, like let's say a Boston. And we can select the Logan International Airport, copy this. And then if I switch back to here, there's nothing to put, right? Because there's no other question. Our, uh, well, our questions or our grasshopper player expired because there are no following questions right so what we need to do is we come over here we get here and then we'll be adding a text file by using get string so it will ask us again a prompt so we will we are going to say please paste the weather data information and then OK. And then that weather data information, if you right click to this, there's nothing else to add. You'll see that as well. So if I save this again, preview this off, turn this off, turn this off. And then if I come over here and then say crossover player, player with ladybug, you see now it's asking us please paste the weather data information and if I paste it it will connect it but then it connects that file that's good but then it asks for open EPV map and then we can say no the problem with why we are facing that is it's actually getting the string is higher than the boolean that's why it's asking the string first so if I save this as this one Turn this off, close it, come back here, do this, and then it will ask me open EPV map. I would say yes again. I would grab, I mean, you can grab from this point on, you can get any browser, you can do anything. Because the next thing that it's going to ask, let's change it this time to Boston Logan Internet. Again, copy this, switch back to Rhino. And then it is asking us, please paste the weather data information. I pasted it. And then again, no output contextual components in definition. So with this being said, I think it's a good place to leave things for this video. In the next one, we'll try to understand how we can add the geometries or other necessary information to keep up with our analysis. So I'll see you in the next one.